Good morning, Birchwood School of Hawking. This is your 7th grade BNN Leadership Broadcasting Team for the week of April 8th. Happy Tuesday, and we hope you enjoyed the eclipse. I'm Kasanthi. And I'm Andrew. Thank, Thank you, you for, for joining, joining us. Let's get right into this week's BNN. First up, we have birthdays. This week, eight students are celebrating their birthdays. Starting off with a double birthday. Yesterday, April 8th, we had a double birthday. Second grader Tara celebrated her 8th birthday, and preschooler Dylan is now 5 years old. Hope you had a great day. On April 10th, 6th grader Nick is turning 12. Happy birthday! April 11th is another double birthday. 8th grader Sammy is turning 14, and the kindergartner Anna is turning 6. On April 13th, we have another double birthday. 6th grader Audie is turning 12, and 3rd grader Juliet is turning 9. Have a wonderful birthday, you two! On April 14th, Yasmin in 4th grade is turning 10. The answer to last week's riddle was a flag. Looks like we stumped everyone. Now we get to keep all the candy. We have a new riddle this week. When does an Irish potato change its nationality? That's a good question. Please email your answers to bnn at birchwoodschool.org or turn in your answers in the mailbox by Wednesday. Now we have Bravo Birchwood. We have a lot of students to congratulate. 13 8th graders have received recognition in the 2024 Regional Scholastic Art and Writing Competition. Four students were awarded gold keys, which means the writing has gone on to national judging. Those results will be announced June 12th. Good luck, Joshua, Surian, Olivia, and Reef. There were also a few alumni who received awards. Congratulations to everyone. The January Cricket Magazine Story Contest results are in. The prompt was to write a story about a competition. 5th grader Ryan Copa received 1st place in the 10 and under category. 3rd grader Kara Copa received 2nd place in the 10 and under category. 5th grader Donna Jang received 2nd place in the 11 and under category. And 5th grader Noah DeLuca received an honorable mention. Great job, everyone. The 7th and 8th grade students participated in Neosef. Here are the results. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Glad to be here. We just received the NESF and Science District results. Can we ask you a few questions about the competition? Sure, I'd be happy to. When did Bertrand start participating in NESF? From my records I can find, I think we started in 2010. Wow. Kavya was our first award winner. How do you choose the projects that advance the competition? Well, Sanvi, yours advance. <laughs> And that means you had enough documentation, enough experimentation, and you had you kept all your logbook yeah. written up. So that's why you got to advance. How many students participated this year? Uh, at Neil Seth, there were two hundred fifty-seven and eighth. That's a lot. There's a lot of people. In there the were yeah. right, and so. Uh, there were eight of us from Birchwood that went, nice. and they all received an award, including you. <laughs> this year, NEOSEF was extra special. For the first time this year, they presented awards to teachers. They gave out two awards. One was presented to Hawkins Upper School's Dr. Chip, and the second was presented to you. Congratulations. Can you tell us a little bit about your awards? Sure. Uh, they gave me the Dr. Bapu Kokhale Award for Consistency in Science Fair Participation. Wow. So they're going to start this award. It says, we appreciate your effort with your students year after year. Without teachers like you, there would be no science fair, and students would miss out on a great STEM-type experience that helps to prepare them for college after high school graduation. Ms. Brown, thank you for all you do at our school. Whether it's helping us understand difficult concepts or with many science competitions, you always go above and beyond. Thank you. Once again, congratulations on your well-deserved award. And thank you for joining us. Now back to Andrew Crisanti. Congratulations to everyone, especially Ms. Brown. Now we have Remembering Our Roots. Let's hear from Mr. and Mrs. Dowlack. All right, so the rest of the story this week is about um, the school song, which I wrote no, in no, night. No, no, no. 
I wrote the song. <laughs> okay, wrote. she wrote the song, but I wrote the melody. Yes, you wrote the melody. Okay, so why do you have to have a school song? That's important. It captures the feeling about becoming great people. Mm -hmm. And so we used a picture that we were familiar with of a four-figured, four-faced person mm -hmm. that was called a man. It had a, a face of a lion, mm -hmm. a face of an ox, mm -hmm. a face of an eagle, mm -hmm. and a face of a man, of a human being. Yeah. Um, did you forget what each of those mean? Okay, so the lion yeah. is because we charge Oh yeah, I remember. I remember. remember that now? We set we goals. We that. set goals all the time, mm -hmm. and we uh, fight to go forward. And yeah. we conquer. That's what lions do. They conquer. They're the king of the jungle. Yeah. So in a way, we're the the kings of life because we're always charging forward. Yeah. The second feature is um, the ox. Ah, yes, the ox. Do you remember what the ox does? You, of course I remember no, what the you, ox does. I don't think you do. You better <laughs> listen to me All first. right, fine. Okay. The ox plows up the field and down oh, now the field. I remember. Field. Okay, you can sing more about it? Yeah. Okay. Ox doesn't quit. He just knows how to work and work and work. It's hard sometimes. It's disappointing sometimes. It takes a long time, yeah. and we sometimes we want to do something else, mm -hmm. but an ox has got his goal, mm -hmm. and he keeps plowing forward, up the field, down the field. Even if it's a heavy load. Yes, even if it's a heavy load. Yeah. Then, okay, remember, that's two. The do you third, remember the third one? Yes. Okay, the third one was the eagle. The eagle. Got it. Okay. I got it. He soars. Soars over the earth. Yeah. Over the whole. Okay. I, yes. You can I, go ahead now. Why? Okay. Because most people don't soar over the earth. They're persuaded by what other people do around them or social media, and they just follow people. Mm -hmm. But an eagle yep. soars above everything, soars above all that. and right. he's responsible mm -hmm. and ought to take care of everything he needs to take care of. Mm -hmm. Because he's flying high above the earth. So he okay. soars. An eagle yeah. soars. Yeah. 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 And then the last animal. Uh, well, it's not really it's an, animal. an animal. It's not an animal. No. It's, it's, it's the man. We mean women too. But it's the man. Yes. Who cares yes. for yes. other people. Remember, shake my hand. This is how we, we thought about it. Yes. That we I remember. No, I remember. Yes, beings. of course. It's an I mean, go ahead. Now. Yeah. Um, and that's so important because on the one hand, we want to be strong, we want to be lions, we want to be unafraid to work hard, we want to be responsible to live the way we should and not be a follower, but all the time we need to be thoughtful, considerate, kind, caring, even serving other people. That's what a wonderful person does. Yeah. So you see this picture? Even though we study math, we study reading. Okay, reading. I know reading. We study reading. Uh, we learn how to write. We learn how to do social studies and science. What's the most important thing? We're all learning to become great, great people. people. A lion, an ox, an, an eagle, eagle, and a man. How about you all sing with us? You ready? We can do the chorus. The, just, the just the chorus. And let's do the actions too. Yeah. Okay. Ready? ready? The lion charges with a roar, the ox's load well bears, the eagle over all can soar, and man for people cares. One more time so they can get it. Okay. Okay. Sing along. Yep. We want to hear it all throughout the school. You ready? Roars. The lion charges with a roar, the ox's load well bears. The eagle over all can soar, and man for people cares.
Hey virtually, welcome back to another 8th grade interview. Today we're interviewing Aya. Hi. So Aya, how long have you been at Birchwood? I've been at Birchwood for 6 years. Oh nice! So with all those years at Birchwood, do you have any favorite memories? Yeah, my favorite memory was Poetry Show because I loved um, reciting the poems with like all my friends. It was a really nice experience. Yeah, it was nice to um, use like emotion to like express um, like our lines and like get a message across to the audience. Uh, do you have any achievements that you'd like to share with us? Yeah, um, last year I placed um, 7th in National History Day with you and Wayne, and I made it to States for FPS and they got a scholastic award this yeah. year. Yeah, congratulations! Thank you. And then, do you have any advice you'd like to give to the younger students? Yeah, I know it's been said a lot, but try not to procrastinate because your homework will start piling up and then it'll become like a lot more to do. So if you just do it the day it's assigned, it'll help you in the long run. Yeah, that's really good advice. Thank you. And then lastly, do you have any hobbies? Yeah, um, I do competitive swimming and basketball. Oh, nice. How long have you been swimming for? Um, five years. Oh, wow. Do you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Thanks for watching another 8th grade interview. Now back to the BNN. Bye! Now we have important dates to remember. This Friday, April 12th, there is no longer a reading day. It is a normal school day. Running club is back on, but on Tuesdays this time at 4.30. This is not a drop-off event. Bring an adult with you. Let's train for the 5K together, which is on Saturday, May 11th. If you have any questions, please email Mr. Boyer. Now, now the, the moment, moment you've all been, been waiting, waiting for, bloopers! bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bravo, Birchwood. Yep. <laughs> Mrs. Jeez. Me! Put that in bloopers. Put that in bloopers. Thank you for watching and have a great week.